The energy inside of the body is what makes the body interesting, not necessarily the body itself, because the body by itself is merely a shell. It's like shells on the shore. Back in 2016, one of my family members transitioned and I've experienced transitions before, we most of us have, and I took this particular one as an opportunity to understand what transition really is. And sometimes we don't do this because we are afraid of transition. We are afraid of losing that particular person and people mourn. It's not something that we celebrate. You know, you don't go to funerals and have a party. My best friend and I, we've had many discussions about this, <laughs> having a party at a funeral. Now, that would be different as opposed to tears. Mourning is different for everyone. People grieve in, in different ways. But do we ever sit down and think about what transitioning from physical form to spiritual form actually means? How often do we think about it or how often do you think about it? Do you embrace the idea? Well, there's two different forms because there's the tragic transition and then there's the peaceful transition, right? The one that, oh, yes, my mother was 95. My brother was in his 80s or uh, my grandmother was 102, you know, and so transition is easy, especially if it's a peaceful one, right? So then you say, well, they lived a long life, you know, their human experience was stretched out quite a bit. So that one is a lot more smooth to handle. Then there's the ones that are cut short. That's not as easy to handle, peaceful or not. And then there's the ones that are caused by an accident, tragic, you know, but altogether, it's the same transitioning from physical form to spirit form, whether it's peaceful or not, it's still a challenge to deal with, I'd say for most, most humans anyway. Back in 2016, when my family member transitioned, I really stood there and I looked at her body for at least 25 to 30 minutes, really trying to process what was going on. I had never done that before, but I wanted to take this as a lesson, or at least I felt intuitively that that's what it was. And perhaps that's what led me to speak on this in this episode here. It's not an easy part of the human experience, but it is definitely one to look at the transitioning from physical form to spiritual form. Now, some of you think there is no transition to anything. You think all that exists is right in front of me. I don't believe in anything after this. There is nothing after our form here. What I see what I hear, what I smell is all that is. Okay, fair enough. But yet there is something powerful. There is something powerful about transitioning from physical to spiritual or physical to something else or just death in general. There's something powerful in that because when you stand there, if you have the opportunity to, let's say the transition is happening in a setting where you're there, you just happen to be there. Let's just say that you just happen to be there. It's peaceful and it happens. And you look and you say to yourself, huh? When the energy is no longer in the body, the body is just a shell, doesn't move, doesn't interact with you. So that means the energy that's in the body is far more important than the body itself, isn't it? Because without that energy, what is the body? Now, of course, I'm not trying to make this the equivalent of the Super Bowl or anything like that. Okay. 
but it is something to think about the next time you are faced with the experience. Let's say you are in position to prepare for it. And even those that sneak up on you. If you reevaluate the way you feel about transition, perhaps it makes the experience, whenever it happens, a little bit more easy to deal with. The energy in the body. We don't focus on that. We focus on the body. We focus on how the body looks, how it looks to others. We focus on certain ideas connected to those looks, you know, society pressures, especially with women and vanity and that sort of thing, aging, right? We focus so much on this physical thing that we're not going to be in for too long. You would like to have a very lengthy experience, right? Some of you anyway, there's some of you that don't care for it. Everyone has a different view, but the physical experience is where the focus is. How much focus do we give to the energy contained in the body? Energy. Energy that can transform. Energy that has no limit. The inner being. The things that I mention in these episodes. How often do you connect to it? How often do you allow yourself to feel it? How often do you communicate with it? Well, that's exactly what meditation is. Meditation is your connection to the energy. That's what it is. You are connecting to the energy, communicating with it. You are elevating the strength within it. Or let's say you are turning up the volume a bit. You are allowing for that energy to get brighter and brighter. Every single time you meditate, that's what happens. So imagine meditating every day, you know, regardless of the time, just doing it every day, you're connecting to that energy that will not be inside of the body forever, right? So why not communicate with it? There have been many transitions over the last year. As I'm recording this, it's 2021. So you can only imagine how many transitions happened between 2020 and the time that I am recording this. And these transitions have been a surprise for some, expected for others. But regardless of how they have occurred, it's been a challenge. So the important thing is to be present going forward in every single moment that you have with your loved ones, with everything, all the aspects of your human existence, be present as best as you can. And understand that the energy inside of you is far more powerful than the body it's inside of. What type of experience would you have if you were to focus more on the energy inside of you than the body it's in? Give it some attention. Acknowledge it every single day. Some of you know what I speak of. But for those of you who do not, start today. See what happens. Give yourself the opportunity to familiarize yourself with it. This week, allow yourself to do this. Start leaning more to this idea. Think about that the next time you spend time with a loved one, a friend, or whoever. Think about how much you love the energy inside of their body rather than the body it's in because it's the energy in their body it's that beaming through the body that's what excites you that's what gives you the vibes that you feel each time you're around them 
him or her, become familiar with it. The only way to heighten these abilities is to become more familiar with the energy in your body. In these episodes, I say God is in you. Well, guess what that energy is? <laughs>